Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Pearl. I'm your friend, your host Roy. This is series one where we're discussing real numbers. Friends, today is episode number five and we are continuing our conversation on HCF, finding HCF using Euclid's division lemma. Now, in the last episode, we talked about what is Euclid's division lemma and in short, what it states is if you have any two given positive integers, integer A and integer B, there exists there exists two other unique integers Q and R that satisfies this equation. And this equation states A equals to B times Q plus R such that R is greater than or equal to 0 but less than B. We also saw in the last webisode that this is nothing but the equation form of long division process. So if I take A and B as two integers and I'm going to pick two random numbers. So let's pick 14 and let's pick 3. So if I divide A by B, so if I, let's do it here. So I have 14 and I want to divide this by 3. So 3, 4 is 12. And then if I subtract, I have got 2 as my remainder. At this process, at this time, the division process stops because my remainder is less than 3. So Euclid's division lemma is saying, basically this number, 14, can be written as B, which is your divisor, multiply by your quotient plus your remainder. So in other words, 14 is nothing but A, 3 is nothing but B. So we started out with A and B and we found out that there are these other two numbers. In this case, this is Q quotient plus this is remainder. So we started out with two numbers, 14 and 3. And we found that there, there exist these other two numbers, 4 and 2 in this particular case, that satisfies this equation. Now friends, we also saw in the last episode that using these following steps, how we can find out HCFs of two positive integers. Right? Step 1, applying Euclid's division algorithm to A and B. First we do that. Then we find out Q and R. Step 2, after executing step 1, if remainder is 0, then at that point B, which is the divisor, smaller number, becomes HCF of A and B. However, if this should be actually B, this should be actually R. If R is not equal to 0, then we apply Euclid's division algorithm on B and R. That means, at this point, the original B, here, that becomes A, that becomes the dividend and the remainder becomes the divisor. We continue this process till R equals to 0. If R equals to 0, at that point, whatever is your divisor, that becomes the HCF of A and B. If R is not equal to 0, then you do not have any HCF. We did take a look at this using two examples in the last episode, but we took two small two-digit numbers. I think we took 18 and 10 and uh, I think 60 or 32 or something like that. So in this episode, we will take a look at, you know, some larger numbers and see that HCF, finding HCF using Euclid's division lemma still works for them as well. So let's take a look at, I'm thinking about two numbers. I'm going to randomly pick two numbers. Maybe Let's say A equals to 1, 2, 5, uh, 6, 8. And let's say B equals to 32. So this is going to be our first example. Now let's go ahead with our Euclid's division lemma. So first we divide A by B. So let's write it 1, 2, 5, 68. And we will divide this by 32. So 1, 2, 5, we have to take 3 digit, 32. If you go, if you divide, multiply 32 by 4, you will have, if you have 4 here, 4 2 is 8, 
four threes are twelve it will be one two eight so you have to go with three so three twos are six and three threes are nine so here are uh, twelve so you have to five six so you have to get one carry over so it will be fifteen minus six is nine and you will have one eleven two so now the six will come down here and then 32 nines are so 9 twos are 18 and uh, 1 carry over 9 threes are 27 and 128 288 eight. minus so here 1 carry over 16 minus 8 is 8 16 minus 8 is 8 this is 8 minus 8 0 2 minus 2 0 then the last 8 we bring it here and now 32 threes are 3 threes are 9 it will be 90 something so we have to go with 2 again so 32 twos are 64 and if you subtract 8 minus 4 is 4 and 8 minus 6 is 2 so at this point our step 1 is over because my remainder is less than 32 so this division process stops but is my remainder 0 no so we have to move to step two so we have to continue our we have to continue applying the euclid's division lemma however now my a and b values are changing at this point the remainder that i have it becomes my divisor so this becomes 24 and my original divisor which was b earlier becomes my dividend that is this b now becomes a so let's put it here let's write it like this 32 so i have to divide 24 32 by 24 so 24 ones are 24 and i get so if you just do it you will have 8 so now at this point again my division stops because my remainder is less than this and i cannot divide anymore so now we are going to apply Euclid's division lemma again and now my a b values will change. So at this point my remainder will be my b and old divisor will be a. So here I am going to write it this way 24 and 8 threes are 24. 0. So, at this point, my R becomes 0. That means we have a HCF. So, what is my divisor at this point? That is 8. So, this 8 is going to be the HCF of these two original numbers. That is the HCF for these two numbers. So, 1, 2, 5, 6, 8 and the number 32 is going to be the number 8 so friends we just wanted to show you with one big two big numbers that the way of finding hcf using euclid's division lemma or algorithm still holds good we encourage you to take any two random numbers and practice at home and you will realize how Step by step by step, if you follow Euclid's division algorithm or division lemma, you can find out HCFs of any two given integers, positive integers A and B. So friends, in the next episode, we will talk about applying Euclid's division lemma on some number properties. Thanks for watching.